Welcome to the first day of International Nature Journaling Week 2024. Today, we're looking at germination and emergence. For most plants, this starts with a seed and the unfurling of a tiny seed as it bursts out of the ground is something amazing to pay attention to as a gardener and a nature journaler. For animals, this could be emerging from an egg or being birthed into the world, like is the case for most mammals. There are so many different ways that organisms start their life and we're going to explore some of these ways today. Hi friends, my name is Elisa and I live in Toronto, Canada. Living where I do, in the Northern Hemisphere, I have an acute experience of nature cycles. Currently, spring is in full swing and the world is coming alive again. Vibrant greens are returning as new growth emerges. We witness nature cycles firsthand and have the opportunity to celebrate and record that experience in our nature journals. I hope that you find this seed of excitement germinating within you as well, and I encourage you to follow it outdoors. I can't wait to see what you create for International Nature Journaling Week this year. So I am really excited about this year's nature journaling prompts. This is my second year doing nature journaling week. I'm an artist, but I'm a new to nature journaling artist. And we live in a wooded area and this is also my third season as a gardener. So I love getting inspired by what's happening in the garden. And this is a fabulous time to capture germination and emergence as the garden is in lots of different states of germination with plants and flowers and fruits and vegetables coming in at a rapid rate, but also at very different times. Hi, I'm Verena from Berlin, Germany, and I want to show you something very cool I found a few days ago, and I did a nature journal page on it, and it's just fitting perfectly for our first theme from the, of the International Nature Journaling Week, germination and emergence. I went to the North Sea, that's quite close-ish to Berlin, and I found something very cool. Take a look. So that's my nature journal page I did on the beach and then in the train back to Berlin and Hamburg. Um, I found, take a look at this, I put it, I put some tape over it. I found some kind of eggshells. It was very squishy and salty with sand. So that's all I got. I first journaled it to just understand how it works and then asked myself a lot of questions. Why is it looking like this? Was it the home of a bird? Could it be have been an eggshell? And how did it end up on the beach? Because it was quite destroyed. I was wondering, was it just like, did something hatch out of it already? Or was it like taken and eaten and somebody else's dinner maybe? And I looked up some eggshells <laughs> in a book um, and wasn't quite sure. Maybe I can, can find out which bird has those kind of eggshells and yeah I found out it must be some kind of mover <laughs> very big seagulls and wasn't quite sure then because they are very similar if it's a silver mover or a lach mover they are kind of smaller because the eggshell I found the squishy bit was kind of this big I estimated like eight centimeters it must must possibly belong I could not be sure in the end to a um, silver move, a very big one um, with a little red dot they have. So I <laughs> just journaled a very tiny red dot there and found a picture of a nest. And I am so eager to find more of those eggshells. And I love to speculate how this beautiful kind of round thing, how can you just, that's amazing. The form is just amazing. So yeah, I leave with a lot of questions. We love them. <laughs> we ask a lot, a lot of questions. <laughs> I love it. And um, I am very fascinated and curious about eggshells in general, how this is a uh, concept a lot of creatures develop to start into life. And yeah, it sparked a lot of curiosity and amazement and awe and wonder about how different shapes are made. Oh, yeah have a lot of fun with the germination and a lot of other cool things starting this week and happy International Nature Week! Do look for the eggshells! 
So we invite you to investigate beginnings today, the ways that new life gets started.